Hi, I'm your Minna Van Dyken MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole foods, plant-based lifestyle. Today, we're going to talk about age, A-G-E, and not the thing that happens to all of us throughout life, but we're talking about advanced glycation end products, otherwise known as age or ages. Advanced glycation end products are a family of compounds that appear to play a role in the development of many chronic disease. So what exactly are advanced glycation end products? Well, if you want the raw, real, scientific definition, they are, quote, a family of compounds that are the product of non-enzymatic reactions between reducing sugars and proteins, lipids, or nucleic acids, end quote. What does that mean in more useful terms? Well, they're compounds that are produced, usually when roasting or broiling food at higher temperatures, which is a common practice in cooking. The high temperatures facilitate chemical reactions between amino acids and sugars, resulting in the formation of ages. There's at least three dozen known ages, and most of them are food-related. Researchers found that ages increased with normal aging. Usually, our kidneys can clear these ages, unless for some reason there's an overload. And then, our body gets backed up and these ages are free to wreak havoc on us. Early studies demonstrated a rise in circulating ages in people with diabetes and chronic kidney disease. Since then, ages have been associated with a variety of conditions, such as decline in memory with age, pathophysiology of eye diseases, polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, wound healing, cardiovascular complications, bone health, gum disease, or periodontitis, erectile dysfunction, anemia, slow walking speed in older adults, peripheral neuropathy, peripheral artery disease, obstructive sleep apnea, islet B cell dysfunction, some cancers, elevated cellular and oxidative inflammatory state, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, and metabolic syndrome in adults and children. Whew, that was quite the list. One of the main ways advanced glycation end products accumulate in our bodies happens during food preparation with popular ways of cooking that expose food to dry heat. Examples of this are barbecuing, grilling, roasting, baking, frying, sauteing, broiling, searing, and toasting. Dry heat causes age formation to increase by 10 to 100 times the levels in uncooked foods. Certain foods, such as animal foods high in fat and protein, are more susceptible to age formation during cooking. Foods that are highest in ages include meat, especially red meat, certain cheeses, fried eggs, butter, cream, cheese, margarine, mayonnaise, oils, and nuts. Fried foods and highly processed products also contain high levels of ages. So, back to the science. How does this all work? Well, let's take a look at this diagram. Certain lifestyle choices start the entire cascade. Select proteins and sugars undergo a reaction forming the advanced glycation end product, the age. Glycation is basically a reaction between sugar and protein, lipid, or nucleic acid. Most of the time, the sugar that is glycated comes from our food. The biggest offender, by the way, is high fructose corn syrup. So back to the pathway. The age then binds up to different types of receptors called RAGE. I know, these scientists must have been really bored when they came up with these names, but the cycle between age and RAGE continues finally resulting in cells adopting an oxidative state which results in inflammation and worsening of its down points like diabetes, heart disease, and kidney disease. Wow, these age molecule thingies sound pretty scary. Luckily for you, I've got a list of foods that inhibit or block age formation. I also have some strategies we can use and add to the list to decrease glycation rates. First though, here are the top foods that block age formation. In case you're wondering, they do this by inhibiting protein glycation. Here we go. Pepper, shallot, garlic, Japanese angelica tree, annatto, tea, caraway, cinnamon, ginger, chipolin, turmeric, yerba mate. Any of you guys had yerba mate? It's actually quite tasty. Bay leaf, mint, nutmeg and mace, marjoram, root beer plant, thyme, red grape, rosemary, winter savory, milk thistle, Luobuma tea, which is a wild herb grown only in a remote desert in the region of Asia. I should go to Asia just for that. <laughs> Anyhow, on this channel, we often talk about phytochemicals or biologically active compounds in plants. 
So here's a list of phytochemicals that block age formation. Are you ready? Anthroquinones, apigenin, which is common in many plants, berberine from berberries, bolding or the Japanese evergreen spice bush, carnosine, a substance made in our bodies, curcumin from turmeric, G-rutin, a glycoside common to many edible plants, including citrus, buckwheat, asparagus, and berries, garcinol from the garcinia or mangosteen plant, genistein from soybeans, hyperoxide, a type of quercetin common to many plants, pyridoxamine, a vitamin in the B6 family, quercetin, a flavanol common to many plants, resveratrol from red grapes, triterpenoid saponins from the Japanese angelica tree, Whew, quite the list there. <laughs> Don't worry, I referenced them in the description below so you can see them all in one place. What lifestyle changes can we make to decrease glycation in our bodies and thereby decrease ages? Well, keep fasting blood sugar close to normal, less than 90 to 100 milligrams per deciliter. Do not smoke. Smoking results in age formation big time. Protect from excessive sun exposure. UV damage causes age formation. Hydrate your skin. Practice regular, moderate exercise. Eat lots of vegetables and fruits, preferably raw, boiled, or steamed. Avoid processed carbohydrates like high fructose corn syrup, browned and fried foods. Avoid meats, unless you wanna eat them raw, which I definitely still can't get behind, that's just gross. Lastly, an important note on supplements to decrease age formation. We don't have a lot of great data on this yet, these supplements are not proven, and more importantly, we don't know if they're safe in the long term. So until we have more data, try to get these nutrients from whole plants, not supplements. And it's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. I hope you learned how to keep those ages away. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, subscribe. We love hearing from you, so please comment below with your thoughts, questions on the material covered in this video. And of course, let us know what other health topics you wanna to learn more about. Until next time, guys, aloha.